Good afternoon and welcome to another episode of Angry Taxpayer. I'm your host, Donna Smirnitopoulos, and today is Friday, October the 4th. Today's topic, the false narrative of Harry Rilling and the Norwalk Democratic Town Committee. Why Trump has nothing to do with Norwalk's problems. Now, if you need someone to explain this to you, you probably have more catching up to do than I can accomplish in just a few minutes uh, on YouTube. But bear with me while we go through some of the problems with the idea that however we feel about Donald Trump is what we should be focusing on when we go to the polls in a little more than a month. Look closely at this photograph of a rainbow crosswalk that I believe is supposed to uh, have embedded thermal tiles. This is the crosswalk that the Common Council approved a few weeks ago. The cost of this project is $77,000. And most of that money is going to come from us. Uh, the applicant, Triangle Community Center, is going to contribute $7,500. Here's why this is a problem, and here's why it relates to our topic of the day. Triangle Community Centers did apply to participate in the Artistic Crosswalk Program, which is being administered through transportation, mobility, and parking. However, Colin Hostin, who filled out the application on behalf of Triangle Community Center, specified that this Triangle Crosswalk should resemble what has been proposed for Boulder, Colorado. The Boulder Crosswalk is supposed to cost $2,400. So why are we getting a $77,000 crosswalk with embedded thermal tiles? Why did Norwalk, why did the Common Council feel that Norwalk needed to be the first to have the first crosswalk of this kind in the state of Connecticut? And why does it need to be done before election day? If we look closer at examples like this of costly land use decisions that don't seem to bear any resemblance to what was originally proposed, we get a little closer to why we shouldn't be looking to our national political issues in order to determine how we vote locally. This is a great example of government just doing whatever it wants to do and a common council that rubber stamps whatever it is the mayor wants. Why do they rubber stamp it? They're all in the same party. And Anybody who attended the, the uh, public hearing or who listened to the Common Council explain their votes understands the Common Council did not consider the budget. They did not consider why there were no other bids. Nobody asked why Triangle was getting something different and something much more expensive than what they asked for. Nobody explained why the contribution of Triangle community should be only 10% of the total cost when the program itself says that the applicant should be covering 50% of the cost. And I have submitted an FOI request to get more information about how this uh, applicant was given something very different, something much more expensive than what they originally requested. And City Hall is coming up empty. There are no answers. Nobody involved has had any, any additional information to explain how a $2,400 crosswalk became a $77,000 crosswalk. These are City Hall problems. They have nothing to do with Donald Trump. Donald Trump may have transparency issues, but this particular issue is completely tied to Harry Grilling to his staff at City Hall, to his appointees in land use, and to our Democratic-controlled Common Council. There's no other way to slice this. And I asked Com uh, Colin Hostin for more information since he was the applicant, and he's also a member of the Common Council, and he hasn't replied. So we have a party in control that lacks transparency. They don't want to explain to you why they do the things that they do. This has nothing to do with Donald Trump. Love him or hate him, he has nothing to do with what's going on in Norwalk. You want to talk about land use problems in the city of Norwalk? There's no better place to start than Democratic Town Committee headquarters. Now, in the photograph above, you're going to see Connie B's. Connie B was the tenant at 43 North Main Street until, I believe, August or July. Very conveniently, Connie B's relocated to Cedar Street, and this is now the location of Democratic Town Committee headquarters. The same place they were in two years ago. I'm not really sure how that happens, that miraculously the tenant leaves every two years just in time to let the um, 
Democrats moved their headquarters there. What, what's really a problem here is they didn't pull a permit. Now, uh, according to planning and zoning, nobody ever pulls a permit for their political headquarters. I don't care. This is our mayor. He should be following the same rules everybody else follows. Uh, the, the Democrats control the city politically. Why can't they follow the rules that everybody else has to follow in order to do what they want to do? So this is a great example of what's wrong with Norwalk. And once again, love him or hate him has nothing to do with Donald Trump. All right, I get it. A lot of people don't like Donald Trump. A lot of people wake up every day tearing their hair out like the gentleman in this photograph because they're frustrated by Trump and his policies. What does that have to do with Norwalk? I think the previous slides illustrated that Norwalk's problems are Norwalk's problems. They have nothing to do with Donald Trump. He didn't bring us the mall. He didn't create POCO. He's not the reason that your property values are going down. He's not the reason that your taxes are going up. As a registered Democrat who was extremely upset at the outcome of the 2016 election, I find this insulting. It's cynical. It's shameful. Uh, what I find especially shameful is that the people who are responsible for this kind of pitch to uh, the emotionally burdened voters who think Trump is the source of all their angina and all their angst and all their problems, those people are in league with the uh, Democratic State Central Committee that gets tens of thousands of dollars every year from Connecticut contractors looking for handouts. We have a guy waiting in line now for $6 million in fees to redevelop Wall Street Place Phase 1. That's POCO. This person consistently gives money to the, to the uh, Connecticut Central State Committee. Our own Eloisa Melendez, who sits on the Common Council, is the treasurer of the Democratic State Central Committee. She is supposed to be preparing treasurer's reports to give to the chair of the Norwalk Democratic Town Committee, and that would be Ed Camacho. And when they were asked by me several months ago if they had received any donations from John McClutchy, I got silence. I didn't hear from them. I looked, I did the research on my own. I found that McClutchy had, had recently given $10,000. Given $10, uh, Trump isn't the problem. This kind of corruption, this kind of pay to play system in Norwalk and in the state of Connecticut has nothing to do with Donald Trump. As a Democrat, I find this objectionable. It's, it, this is a horrible way to exploit people's feelings about a very polarizing president. This slide almost doesn't need a narrative explanation. Would I lie to you? Yes, you would, Mayor Rilling. Not only would you, but you have, repeatedly. We deserve better than this. We deserve transparency from City Hall. We deserve a mayor who will be straightforward, who will be a straight shooter. We deserve a mayor who will take land use appointments seriously because land use decisions are the things that are affecting your pocketbooks. They're impacting your land values. They're impacting our schools. We're uh, currently searching for a new superintendent. I don't know if we can find someone who can come into this situation here where we have a very fluid enrollment environment. We are adding students by the day. If you've spoken to anybody who has a, a student at Norwalk High School or is a teacher at Norwalk High School or an administrator at Norwalk High School, they will tell you that place is an absolute mess and it has nothing to do with Donald Trump. It has everything to do with this mayor and it has everything to do with Senate Majority Leader Bob Duff. We have zero enforcement in this city. We don't have any enforcement for illegal apartments, most of which are in two family homes. Our senator is not bringing in the resources that we need to educate our children, including the many new children coming in who need services that are a multiplier on top of the $17,000 per year that the average regular education kid needs. So the money isn't coming in. The children are here. They need to be educated. We don't know where this is going. We know why it's happening, and it has nothing to do with Donald Trump. It has everything to do with the man on the screen with the bricks in his hand. So 
I ask you, do not go to this, don't fall for this phony story. You know, you should be angered by it. This should piss you off. You should go get your absentee ballot now and send it in and vote these people out of office. We deserve better than this. We deserve something genuine. But this, this pandering, this emotional manipulation, it's beneath them. Uh, you know, unfortunately, it's not beneath them because they're doing it. But I hope you're angry about this. I know I am. Uh, I'm a Democrat. I support Lisa Brinton, and I support her even more now that I've seen this phony baloney that they're, they're pitching to people in order to get uh, to phone bank. And you know what it really tells me? They're scared. They're scared they're going to lose. And I hope that they do. I hope you enjoyed this PowerPoint presentation today. I hope you like the PowerPoints. Uh, it's a little change up from what I've been doing. Please hit like and please share these videos to any friends you think might enjoy them. Subscribe if you think that you're able to subscribe without facing some sort of retaliation from City Hall because this is what I hear from people. I can't subscribe because someone's going to retaliate. So um, be brave and go out there and tell your friends that we need a change here. And, and it doesn't, this is not about your party of registration. It has nothing to do with whether you hate Donald Trump or you love Donald Trump. The person on trial here is Harry Rilling. The reputation is his, the track record is his and his alone. Have a great day and I hope to see you next week. Bye-bye.